In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a dolly zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve within pretty much a couple of clicks. And with that being said, let's go to my laptop and see what we have here. I already pre-selected footage for this dolly zoom effect and I actually cut it and color graded just quickly so that I have something. And from here, as you can see, it's pretty much having this clip where in this instance I'm going forward so as you can see I'm flying slowly forward you might not be able to see because this moves a little bit but if you look on the right here you should see that I'm moving forward and the thing is for dolly zoom effect you could go with the position and the zoom and start with like one and then at the end put it at like two it would work too but there is actually a faster way for this and the way to go is actually go down to dynamic zoom click on it and now you have it done you have pretty much done the whole effect and here you can see that we have the dolly zoom but you might say well you don't really see it too much well you do see it but just not as much as you might have expected see the thing is the shorter the clip the more zooming in there's gonna be so for example if we were to turn it off and then shorten the clip so it's very much shorter and then do the dynamic zoom look at this now a much bigger example of the vertigo effect but this is how you can do it really quickly but let's say you want it a little bit more you want to have a little bit more control over how much it zooms in and out so there's more or less the effect all you have to do is go over to here dynamic zoom and the red and green boxes are pretty much what you were going through. So we're going through one to the other. So we're starting with the green and going to the red. So let's say we put it like this, so it's very strong. And now if we look at it turned off, look how much there is. So basically you can just turn it on and switch how much you want or how much zoom and zoom out you want. So the more you do, the more effect is gonna be visible. So the two options that you have, first way is actually just to put a two at the front, put a keyframe here, then go to the last. And then on the last one, put let's say for one. And now if we look at it, it should be the same thing. But in my opinion, just the quicker and easier option is instead of going through this is going to the dynamic zoom and having it on the linear. And that way it's going to work pretty much the same. This is a very quick and easy way to do the dolly zoom effect in DaVinci Resolve. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you next time.